Converge was founded by Dennis Anthony I. He was only 11 years old when he left an impoverished life in Fujian, China, on hopes of a better future in the Philippines. He followed his uncle who operates the biggest supermarket in Duty Free Clark where he worked as a maintenance boy, tinkering and cleaning refrigerators and freezers of his uncle's retail store business. In 1992, he entered into cable TV business after getting an NTC approval for his Angeles City Cable Television Network. It later evolved into Converge in 2007. He was the first to provide internet to Clark locators, and first to go into fiber optic technology in 1996. He attributed his success to his early realization that technology is the way to expand business faster. In 2009, Converge was granted a congressional franchise to construct, install, establish, operate and maintain telecommunications systems throughout the Philippines, for a term of 25 years. In 2011, the NTC issued a license for Converge to install, operate and maintain a nationwide broadband internet network in the Philippines. Converge commenced its fixed broadband internet operations in 2012. In 2013, Converge launched fiber to the home fixed broadband services and entered Metro Manila. Converge reached a milestone of 50,000 residential subscribers in 2015. At the end of 2017, the number of subscribers had grown to 130,000. Converge commenced its effort in 2019 to go national, kicking off construction of its nationwide backbone connecting Luzon with Visayas and Mindanao. By end of 2019, it surpassed having 500,000 subscribers. Converge experienced exponential growth in 2020, adding 50,000 new subscribers every month. As of May 2020, total subscribers stands at 690,000. Converge is one of the fastest growing fixed broadband operator in the Philippines. They offer high-speed fixed broadband services to both residential clients and enterprise businesses. Converge own and operate the fastest growing end-to-end -end fiber network in the Philippines, which is also one of the newest in the country. Their network is among the most extensive in the country with over 30,000 kilometers of fiber, as of March 2020. The network covers over 200 cities and municipalities across Luzon, and reached approximately 4.1 million homes. In 2019, Converge commenced expanding their network beyond Luzon to the rest of the Philippines and is on track to substantially complete their primary nationwide backbone loop, connecting Luzon, Visayas and Mindanao, by the end of 2021. Converge broadband network offering is comprised of a fiber backbone, as well as a fiber distribution last mile network, which consists of 100% high-speed technologies, by enabling fixed broadband connections, utilizing fiber to the home and hybrid fiber coaxial technologies. The competitors of Converge include PLDT, Globe Telecom and Skickable. PLDT, given its history as a nationwide fixed-line telephony provider, has the most extensive fixed-line network among the country's operators, and consequently the largest fixed broadband subscriber base. Its fixed broadband contributes 33% of total revenue in 2019. Globe is the country's second-largest telco in terms of revenue, but is the Philippines' largest mobile operator, with 89.3 million mobile subscribers, as of March 2020. Mobile revenue contributed to 75%, while home broadband contributed to 15% of Globe's total revenue in 2019. Globe's broadband strategy is focused on fixed wireless, where they currently have 1.6 million fixed wireless subscribers. Skickable is the country's largest cable broadband operator and operates the second largest DTH satellite provider, SkyDirect. Skickable predominantly operates on the HFC network and only began upgrading its network to provide FTTX services in 2018. A study on network comparison between Converge and the industry revealed Converge's differentiation to its competitors. Some of the major advantages of its network are, it has faster access speeds, younger network age requiring lower maintenance, significantly more capacity to address future demand, and faster rollout of connections at a lower cost. According to Converge, home broadband connections on their fiber network are approximately 2.2 times faster and 2.3 times more reliable than other providers, most of which still use legacy copper networks. Based on June 2020 residential survey, Converge received a net promoter score of plus 83 for advocacy, compared to an average of plus 33 for the other operators. 
They also had a significantly higher score for customer loyalty and customer satisfaction, with average monthly residential churn rate of 0.6%, lower than the industry average of 2%. Converge has a 54% market share for residential fixed broadband subscription as of March. It also is capturing 51% market share of new subscriptions from 2018 to March 2020. Their enterprise business is growing at 3.3 times the pace of the overall market between 2016 and 2019. Between 2017 to 2019, Converge revenue grew at a compound annual rate of 76.3%. In 2019, earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation and amortization margin was 50.8%. Return on invested capital stood at 19.6%. All of these are industry-leading numbers. As of end 2019, Converge has a net leverage of 0.4 EBITDA. And residential business average revenue per unit has steadily increased to 1,293 pesos. Key operating information for Converge residential business is set out here. Converge has been experiencing acceleration of new subscriptions since 2016, and continues to see strong month-on-month -month growth in their subscriber base in 2020. Its enterprise business also delivered market-leading growth over the last three years, as a result, their enterprise business saw an increase in its revenues, reaching 2.8 billion pesos for the year ending in 2019. The Philippines has very significant and rapidly growing demand for broadband connectivity, and here are the following three key drivers. The country's large estimated population of 109 million are among the youngest, with a median age of 25.7 as of December 31, 2019, and among the most internet savvy in Asia. Filipinos spend more time on the internet, at nearly 10 hours per day, and on social media in 2019. Furthermore, internet usage has shifted increasingly towards data consumption, with Filipinos estimated to have consumed 50% of their video content online in 2019, increasing from 20% in 2015. The Philippines is home to thriving technology-enabled services industry, including a world-class BPO sector that ranks second in the world after India, for which connectivity is essential to meeting customers' expectations. This is fueling multi-sector growth such as in retail and financial services. Filipino Overseas Filipino Worker off what population is the largest in Southeast Asia, which drives significant spending on high-speed and reliable connectivity in order to communicate and stay connected with family and friends, often utilizing data-heavy live video platforms. The need for high-speed fixed broadband has also amplified following the onset of COVID-19, and the growth in demand has accelerated as the new social norms of social distancing and work from home have set in. According to the Enterprise Survey, over 80% and 70% of respondents, respectively, indicated that working from home would remain in place going forward. These supply-demand dynamics have given rise to significant unserved demand for fixed broadband services. In 2019 alone, unserved demand for residential fixed broadband is estimated to be as large as $4.2 billion in revenues. The total addressable residential market is forecasted is expected to reach $6.9 billion in revenues, while enterprise market is forecasted to reach $1.5 billion in revenues by year-end 2025. Converge is primed to benefit from this catalyst, as it continues to lead efforts to address current unserved demand. Here are the details of the offer. Issuer is Converge Information and Communications Technology Solutions Incorporated. Selling shareholders are the majority and controlling shareholders Complark and Coherent Cloud, which are both controlled by the founders. Primary shares being offered is around 1.3 billion, with secondary shares as a verotment option of 195 million. Offer price is estimated to be 24 pesos, this will be finalized on 9th of October. All of the offer shares in issue or to be issued are expected to be listed on the main board of the C, under the symbol SICT, and is expected to be listed on 26th of October. Converge noted that approximately 90% of the net proceeds from the sale of the primary shares will be used to fund the capital expenditures to accelerate their nationwide fiber network rollout. You've reached the end of this video. I hope it helped you understand better the contents of the offer and help you decide whether buying Converge is a good investment and addition to your portfolio. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and leave a like.